<laughs> oh, I miss you guys so much. I know, don't hate me by the title. You know I have a good reason. You know I have a good reason for why I'm not. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know I have a really good reason for not uploading. As you guys have known, oh, oh my god, English, guys. English has been so hard. I am so out of breath already because of the first time I screamed. So I apologize. I'm not going to be my full energetic self. I'm still in recovery. This is week three right now. I'm feeling a lot better. I put on makeup today for the first time in so long. I feel like myself slowly. So I was like, you know what? Let me finally shoot this video. Let me do a story time. I've already shot like a ton of vlogs. I promise. I vlogged recovery. I vlogged a really nice surprise. I have an addition I want to share. And I'm I've just I've been in a really good space and place post surgery and I was just like you know what let me film this today let me talk to you guys so let's get this video started I've missed you guys so much Mwah! I have been dealing with a lot this past couple of months like from my videos like I shared with you guys it was always one thing or the other I've told you all about my IUD issues my period problems I've been having insane stomach pain my health has been up but now I had bronchitis so I'm gonna tell you all this story time because <laughs> If I could drop my ear like this, yelled at past Sophie for the actions that I should have known was gonna happen, I I would have dropped the ear. I would have I would have beat myself. I still want to fight myself for pushing myself that far when I definitely knew I needed to have taken a break and I needed to slow down. But it is what it is. Let's get into this video. Let me tell you how I ended up in the ER. Ar, ER. For my first ever burn trip and how I was devastated. Let's get into it. Where do I even start from? So I the day no let me do this. Let me be dramatic. The day was September shit. Picture this. The day was September 26th. 26th, I wanted to make sure. 2022. I was getting ready and packed i a month or so before i had gotten in my email that i was chosen to go on a brand retreat tri trip trip wow a brand trip with victoria's secret pink to austin texas with like 10 or 15 other influencers yo this was like my first ever brand trip i had never ever ever been invited anywhere with a brand like that like typically for influencers especially in america like they will invite a bunch of influencers out to somewhere they fly you out give you a hotel give you a car to get there and back like they take care of you and so i was so excited but mind you prior to that i have been <laughs> i've been fighting have been shaking prior to the freaking brand trip invite my like i just feel like i have not been myself i still i've been struggling with like my IUD so I put in an IUD sometime last year and I'm still regulating my periods I'm still trying to figure out if my cramps are being caused because of my IUDs because like I'm growing older like I don't know what's been going on but I've been struggling right so that's been happening I had bronchitis I had some stomach ulcer I also felt like I had warms in my tummy at some point and then I had been feeling like acute pain in my right side for like two months right and but it wasn't like crazy like i'm a girl so i was like you know strong black woman i was like okay maybe like it's my period but like it wasn't my period and i was like maybe it's because maybe it's my appendix because i was like oh it's an appendix but like it wasn't lower abdomen pain it was like upper abdomen under your rib so i'm like what i, I just didn't understand it and to the doctors same thing they all just basically telling me that like they couldn't figure out what was wrong they're gonna try to do an appendectomy they're gonna try to see if it's my appendix but the pain doesn't sound right they gave me some pain meds to help me but that was about it it. so I was getting so frustrated but like I was also depressed and anxious about everything so like you know when you like you wake up in the morning and you want to get you planning your day and then you just start feeling pain from somewhere and then you're feeling sad and tired that's what I've been feeling so I'd already been overwhelmed but when I heard about the brand ship it felt like ah, like the sun and the skies are opening it was my time to shine I was gonna kill it I was gonna be back and I'd already missed New York Fashion Week because I just wasn't in the healthiest place and so I was like God give me something like 2022 was supposed to be my year and by God's grace it's still my year I just know like I've been talking so much about struggles that, like I feel like I'm beginning it needs to sound like a broken record like it's only you like you know that this tiktok this tiktok right here 
Hey, hey, girl. Is now a good time? Oh, yeah. Someone just broke into my house, so I'm hiding in the closet. What? You're good, though. What's up? Hey, do you know how to treat a stab wound? Were you stabbed? Yeah, four times. It was just a butter knife, though. Girl, I just flatlined. Like you fully died? Yeah. They had to do CPR and everything. Can you believe it? Are you okay? So embarrassing. What anyway, the, the EMT is so hot. Do you want to say hi? That's me. Is it only me? Only me. Something's going on this month. I just never felt like... I should have... Anyways. Anyways, that was how I was feeling. So I end up, you know, going... Trying to be like, you know what? I'm just going on the trip. Five days before this trip, the pain gets double. Like, I wake up in pain. I'm laying down, I'm in pain. I'm sitting up, I'm in pain. I was in excruciating pain. I, and the day before the trip, I went to urgent care. And the urgent care says, it looks like you might need a CT scan just to double check something is wrong. My ultrasound was coming back normal. My blood work was coming back normal. So they were like, they're not sure what it is, but the CT scan will probably narrow it down. They were like, oh, go to the ER. If the pain gets worse and everything, they gave me pain meds. At this point, I should have just gone. I should have known. That. I should have just listened to myself, and I should have gone to like ER immediately. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the ER when I come back from my trip. Cause in my head, I'm like, what am I gonna waste? What am I gonna waste my time? You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I gonna? What am I gonna go to the emergency room? What does my health matter? What does my health matter when I'm supposed to be at a brand trip for the first time with Victoria's Secret Pink? You know, I, like I get it. I get why my foolish self thought that was a smart procedure to proceed with oh procedure to proceed i don't think that's right i don't think that's how you say those things but we move so the day of the trip comes my flight is at 8 a.m in the morning so i wake up early i'm still in pain literally i'm vlogging you guys i'm vlogging this trip i'm recording myself and i'm saying oh you guys i'm gonna be late for the airport ow my side hurts oh but i'm gonna make it we're gonna kill it we're gonna we're not gonna let our health stop us what kind of foolishness is that what kind of nonsense was i thinking why why? Why? I just, I want to ask myself why. Sophie, it's a mirror. Why? Why? So I'm on this flight and I land in Austin, still in excruciating pain. It's 2 p.m. at this time. I'm still shining my teeth, greasing everybody. All the other influencers are there. I'm kicking, kicking kick, kick with all of them. The clock comes around. I take a nap. I literally call one of my close friends, Gilda, and I'm like, I don't feel so good. I shouldn't have come. My management team told me I shouldn't have gone. My agent told me I shouldn't have come. Honestly, my spam family, I have a spam page. Go follow my Instagram. My spam page literally said, Sophie, just stay home, pr prioritize your health, figure yourself out. I said, no. I said, I'm a big deal. I'm a big girl. I'm not going to do that. So, I am like, I'm gonna be stubborn. So I take a nap, I wake up, pain is double, it's triple. So now I'm literally like wincing as I walk. But I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna keep going. Ah, as pa, I'm the Hulk, the incredible Hulk. I get, so we have this opening reception, we get there, Victoria's guys' is opening reception. I'm gonna try to see if I can find clips for you guys so I could have seen and shared what I was going through. But I'm gonna try to see if I have some things, like some little like Snapchat videos I took. But all of this is happening, and I go for this welcome reception. This dude from Never Have I Ever, he's there, and I'm like already like, oh, it's gonna be fun. I meet some really dope influencers. I'm making friends. I'm talking, kiki, 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 kiki. But through all of this, I'm still in like so much pain, and I'm like, I really shouldn't be here. But I was like, I'm gonna suck it up and be here because this in my head, I'm like, this kind of opportunity only ever happens once, which is stupid because I'm a bad bitch. I'm a great influenza. You guys love me. Another brand trip will have come. I should have just gone my way. I should have gone to my house. I should have listened. But I didn't do that. And around 6.37, I am like losing it. Like, you know when like someone's talking to you and you're like, oh, I'm so good. Yeah, I'm good. That's, that was me. You guys, that was me. Like someone was, they'll be talking to me and I'll just be like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm just singing. I break out the music all the time. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! That's, that was me. Singing! Singing! Because I did, I was gonna be stubborn. So at 7 o'clock, it's getting too much. I end up being like rushed to the ER. And I guess this ER, and I'm in Austin, Texas, you guys. I've only been to Austin once. And thank God I was not in the hospital in Austin. So I didn't know anything. I literally just Googled closest ER near me. And by the time we got there, it was, well, by the time I got there, because I went by myself. By the time I got there, there was like homeless people outside. The po like three police people were outside as well. Like it was very scary. I was literally in tears, tears running down. I feel so sad when I think about a sad selfie. I just walk in, I go sit there, I check in, and I tell them like I'm in excruciating pain, whatever, and I go sit down. 
while I'm sitting there, I'm still crying. They come over, they get my vitals, they get my blood. I'm scared of needles, so they pinched me with needle at first. I was already crying. I was like, oh my god, I miss my mom. I want my mom here. And mind you, I texted all my friends, told them what was happening. I just felt so alone, you guys. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know, like one of my biggest things is like I hate feeling alone. And at that moment, I just felt so alone. It was so sad. Anyways, I end up just, you know, going to uh, get my blood work done. They did an ultrasound and everything nothing they were like they don't see anything it looks all good like they're worried it might be gallstones or my appendix but like it doesn't sound like the pain is coming from where my appendix is it sounds like the pain is coming from like right underneath my rib i was like yeah that's where i've been hurting so they're like okay well we're gonna check it out so i wait six hours because it's an emergency room in america they don't the term emergency is a joke because <laughs> if i was dying i would have been dead in front of the emergency room that's how bad wait times in american emergency rooms are it's ridiculous but we i'm waiting right while i'm waiting to the emergency room let me tell you all some homeless guy like whipped up his dick like in that emergency room some homeless guy like came in when i got up to ask how long the wait was gonna be he saw me saw me see him see me walked to where i was sitting sat there rubbed his body on that place and then got up and then watched me thinking i was gonna go back to sit there in this covid 19 era god forbid i literally went and i stood for a bit in pain i was literally like crying my eyes out in pain waiting until i could find another seat to open up it was just a mess am i just like 10 o'clock still i'd been there since seven three hours i was just sad i remember i was so sad finally they got me a room so i laid there the man in the in the hospital bed next to mine was having like reflux issues so like literally all i kept hearing was uh, uh, uh. literally that's all i kept hearing the entire time i wanted to cry i was it was a lot so finally the uh the doctors come back and they're like we're gonna do a cc scan for you so they go in i do a cc scan shout out to miss i forget her name i'm so sorry but she was so sweet to me and she was so nice she's this black lady and she was so sweet but i did my cc scan and i got back to my room and the doctors came in because it was a training hospital so I, I, I kept having a lot of doctors and nurses coming back and forth but the doctor came in and the doctor was like oh that the ct scan doesn't show that anything is wrong at that moment in time that was the last straw that would have been my fetish reason why if the doctor didn't say what he said next because when i tell you when i told you i heard that man say it came back like it came back clear i i fell down i was it was gonna be done so he came back and he's like it's all clear but something is weird my appendix doesn't appear to be in my lower abdomen it appears to be living right around my rib area I said I don't think that's right because from what I've googled and I've heard appendix kicks are always at the low, around the large or small intestine he's like yeah that's typical that like I'm an odd he said this it wasn't that said it he said I'm an odd one I said I'm an odd case or something and I was like oh my god that's why my name is oddity <laughs> but <-dum> <laughs> I hate me so he says that and I'm like only Sophie like only Sophie would would have an odd case in something that's already not too it's common but it's not too common only me would that happen to so i have to go back for another ct scan shout out to that lady again she was so sweet. she was like oh you're back i told them to have, to have had you do the ct scan with contrast not the normal ct scan but they weren't listening doctors think they know so much i'm like yes ma'am you know they don't listen to black women anyways let me fight but i finally did a ct scan with contrast which meant that they had they filled my body with like something that lit up all the organs so they could see it properly they did all that and then they finally said that my appendix is really long and the end is like infected so they had to take it out i found this out around 6 a.m you guys around 6 a.m was finally since 7 p.m i've been in crucial pain for almost 7, 12 hours i was in i was just it was a lot find this out around like 7 a.m and they're like oh we're gonna get you into surgery at 11 but we'll see we're gonna check the scans again see if it's not something that needs to happen quickly i'm still texting my friends hey guys they said i'm gonna have surgery i'm not sure whatever i can't do Victoria's secret pick anymore i gotta go home my friends are like okay we're gonna try to come see you all of that's still happening and then the anesthesiologist comes in and he's like oh well never mind actually we're really you in right now that's all i remember one moment i'm being told they're going to be giving me anesthesia and blah, blah blah the next moment i'm waking up my auntie is by my side and everyone's just like yeah you're done with surgery i'm like what so basically i got a lacrosopic 
laparoscopic surgery which means like there were three incisions in my tummy but they had to make a larger one because of the position of the appendix and then robots are in me so I'm basically robots girl at this point robots are in me and they like you know take the thing out basically so I don't have my appendix anymore that's what basically happened I immediately I did the surgery I was put on anesthesia blah 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 I had pain meds my auntie and my friend Gilda came to like hang out with me and I literally flew out to DC the next day the stupid decision I made but I really wanted to recover at home and I don't have anyone in Austin so it made sense to come back home worst flight of my life but shout out to Southwest for just last minute being so supportive the flight attendants were amazing I got back home and I have been on bed rest in crucial pain for the past two weeks but I'm finally better this is my first surgery I think it was it was scary then now I think oh that's cool like oh wow me too. Like people were in me. Like you know, you just watch it on TV, like in like Grey's Anatomy, and now I'm like, ooh, I got surgery done. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like I'm better. I, I I've I've never felt more in tune with my body than I do right now. It surgery allowed me to sort of like prioritize myself more. I started setting boundaries. I had time to start therapy. I started journaling. I drink tea a lot. I. I love scents like perfumes. I've been in, into candles now. I have been planning more content. I'm a lot more happy and confident. I'm, I'm very aware of myself. I can keep going on and on and on. And it feels like that needed to happen. My appendix needed to be under my rib. Freaking hell. My appendix needs to be under my rib for me to at least just feel have time to catch a breath and catch time with myself oh yeah and also like after the surgery though like my lung capacity has been low so now I, my pain is my chest is still hurting when i breathe i can't breathe like i can't breathe deep so i still gotta go to to uh, a doctor for that so we'll see what happens after that but i'm trying to be positive i am generally happy right now I just I feel I feel really good I feel really good so yeah I that is basically it I am so excited to just put my head down again I don't know you guys if I'm gonna have another surgery next year or next week I don't know if I'm gonna fall sick tomorrow I don't know if life is gonna be hard again I don't know if life is gonna be good and I'm gonna be healthy for the next lifetime and I don't know but all I know is everything happens for a reason. I am here for this season. I am present right now talking to you guys and I feel happy. I feel good. I feel proud of myself for for taking so much and being so incredibly strong. I am superwoman to myself honestly and I'm going to continue to be my cheerleader because the shit I go through I'm so proud that I always find my, find a way to pick myself back up. I'm gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Um, uh, I I just realized that the difference between allowing yourself or being disappointed in yourself or failing is your inability to do. And what I mean by that is like, today I thought I'm going to put on makeup, and then I after that I was like, oh my god, I'm too tired. Maybe I should read a book instead of watch TV. And I thought, you know what, never mind. I should put on makeup, I need to record this video. But I didn't want to. Like, I couldn't imagine getting to this point where I am right now, where I'm talking to you guys on camera. It just felt like that could happen tomorrow. And I was gonna procrastinate and not record this. But I just did. Like, I was like, you know what? First step, just go into your makeup room and look at your makeup, open the makeup. And if you see it and you pick one up, and you put it down and it doesn't cost you anything you can do your makeup today and i did i did my makeup and i shot a video and another video and i'm doing this right now and i wouldn't have done that if i have i didn't realize the importance of doing and talking yourself out of situations and just applying yourself i'm i'm so i'm glad i'm okay i'm glad i'm okay and i'm glad i have you guys to constantly cheer me on more videos coming i've been recording and i like i told you i have a sneak peek surprise so guess in the comments what you think my surprise is i'm just gonna be i'm gonna give you a hint i am introducing you guys to somebody i love all right so i love you guys so much enjoy enjoy your day enjoy your day bye guys Mwah.